But honestly, honestly, big shout out. I've seen some of this guy's videos. He seems like a super nice guy. Jesse and Camp. Check him out. Good morning. <laughs> He's just standing there. He's standing there. Menacing. Menacingly. How's it going, everybody? I am healed. Okay, I'm gonna do a move, and you guys guess what? Who's the, who this video is about? <laughs> who's the video about? <laughs> yeah, Chili Bambili, got it. It's Steven Seagal. Bye with Steven Seagal, and in the previous episode. Oh my God, I already want to die. He taught me and my brother some amazing techniques. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Punch. <laughs> this guy's name, shout out to his family, is Jesse Ancamp. I think I've seen a very cool video of this guy. But before training starts, he wants to give me a very special gift. In Japanese, we call it a makiwara. And this is yours, the brand new one. <laughs> Why he's gonna ruin it? He's trying on it. Now it's ruined. I'm sorry. Please don't read jealousy into this comment, okay? I wish I was bald, okay? But what is this? Is he wearing something or is that a cut? Dracula. <laughs> cut. Vegeta. Have you not seen his movies, bro? I've never seen a single Steven Seagal movie. Bro! Close up, please! Enhance! Pay attention. You paying attention? Oliver, you yep. sure? Yes, sir. Watch this. Okay, see, here's what's happening. Okay. Right. Now watch this. Yeah. It's completely different. <laughs> watch this, nothing happened. G guys, thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> the, the mod check emote is perfect for this. That is very informative. You, you guys didn't even get what he did. I can demonstrate it to you. Okay, now if I change it. You get it now? It's different. This is the problem with you guys. You guys don't understand martial arts, okay? Over here, when you do this kind of thing, you can even do this. Mm. Mm. Now I've trapped. That is not real hair. By the way, I have to admit something. I, st I still believe deep down that Steven Seagal must know something, maybe. A broken clock is right twice a day. The, 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 that type of situation. In my footwork, it's always like a triangle. And I'm always sliding. Right. Uh, I don't do this thing that you guys are doing. Right. Jumping I, I don't, around. I don't, I don't no bouncing. do that ever. Yeah, of course you don't do that. You, more legs looking ass. Okay. When you do my getty for this guy here, he must know this is got this dude is full of sh er, shit, bro. Just mm. Oh, what is going on? Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it! Oh my god! Yeah, that was good. Good job. Good job. Perfect. You did it in a perfectly isolated scenario where the guy was waiting for you. Look at it. Look at look at Steven Seagal, how he's proud of himself. You see that, bro? You see that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brush your shoulders off. So when you kick... Yeah. This is sword. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, everyone who does Aikido, please. As you come. Right. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! This is one of the ones that I This like. is so cringe. Message to everyone. Peace and love. Anyone who does martial arts or who thinks that they can use this in a situation. Do not try this. Do not try this. It's not a thing. It doesn't work. It's, it's just it's pathetic. This is the type of move that would be very cool in a, in a, in a fight movie, in a performance. 100%. Like, you can do that very cool. The guy kicks, punches the leg, but it's... No. This is wrong on so many levels. When someone kicks you with a full power, first, reaction time. You're not gonna be fast enough to counter that with, with, your, with, with a hook. Number two, imagine you're slightly too low with that. You get kicked in the head, okay? And it's over. And number three, your punch is not gonna be stronger than his fucking kick. His kick's gonna break your hand, break your wrist. Just wake the fuck up. It's not a thing. It's not possible. Otherwise, you would see... It's not a thing. Why do they... Why do they... Why... Ah! Distance. There are stupid people saying you can never do that. This punch. Yeah. I've done it a thousand times. Yeah. Your next fight you're in when someone kicks you. Just f Bing. hook. Hook. Hook on that punch. Bam. He's right. The only reason why I'm hating on this is because I can't pull it off. This one move is my kryptonite. I wonder, in his heart, right now, he seems like the, the type of guy who believes this bullshit. Like, who legit believes it. Not who's trying to sell bullshit, 
but he believes it. But I mean, I mean, yeah, what do you expect? When you're in a fighting situation, bro, you get that roundhouse kick, just boom, hook, and it's over. And I just did it. And I just did it. Yeah, you know what? This is what he means by he did it a thousand times. He demonstrated it in this scenario, in a situation like this, a thousand times. I believe him. He demonstrated this a thousand times, 100%. You just need to practice. If you just try it out once, of course you're not going to get it to work. Right. You need to do it hundreds, thousands of times. There are some moves that could they work if you practice them a thousand times, a million times, maybe. Or you could just do, do another move that is way more effective and you can master it by, you know, practicing it 50 times. 60, 70 percent giving you guys spirituality, philosophy, because the technique, even though you might be amazed. God, hearing this guy talk, I just I realized that I, I don't miss Shaolin. The amount of people who talk like this, who think they have eaten the wisdom bowl, it is the most pathetic, embarrassing, cringe, scammer, bullshit lost people who talk like this disgusting they're the absolute worst man they, this this community it, 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 it attracts the lowest of the low my master used to say little finger can make a big man cry my master used to say ming dynasty pussy got me acting on why you have really 10 weapons exactly yeah one time somebody pulled a knife on me and he said Okay, now what are you gonna do? And I said, I have 10 weapons, you have one. I guarantee you, no person who has ever seen videos of real knife attacks can talk like this. Yeah, when someone attacks you with a knife, you just go, oh, and then you go, and he attacks you with a knife, and then you go like this, like this. Like in Wing Chun, my master said, we don't believe in blocking. We believe in, you know, taking them and then redirect, redirect these nuts. So if we wanna sever your spinal column, we can hit you right there. Honestly, there should be a law, new law. Anyone who teaches self-defense and applied combat sports has to spar or has to be in a fight. Doesn't have to be a public fight, but has to be like recorded by some institution at least like three times. Just so that they know what it's like. A little bit at least. Get hit in the head once. Once. Know what it feels like. And and all your bullshit will fly out the window. I think for a lot of people who like karate or who think when they do kung fu forms, like even Shaolin, when they do just Shaolin forms and now they believe they can fight. For a lot of them, they shy away from sparring and they create like these crazy, in their mind, they have these crazy constructions. No, uh, I reject sparring because because it's against what I believe in, blah, blah, and a peaceful warrior and philosophy. Sparring would be such a reality check for you, man. Suddenly all this shit is flying out the window. And sparring is also crazy fun, bro. I do this, it turns it into a very thin knife. Yep. When I do this, it becomes thick. My hand is a knife. Damn, this is, this is like the definition of give your interviewee rope so he can hang himself with it. Doing a great job of, of that. My favorite would be to come here mm. and then here. Ooh. And then here. Yeah. And this is a break. Yeah. So these are like classic Aikido. Break. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's, he's really finished here. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll stand by that. I think Aikido, if you uh, supplementary to some other things, Aikido has some aspects of it. Not so bad. There's some uh, gri gra grappling uh, griffe that uh, if you want to self-defend, in addition to kickboxing, judo, jiu-jitsu, some things are in there, as always, that are not so bad. When you're here, stand strong. Yeah. Stand strong. Stand strong. Yeah. 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 And the cool thing is, this is legal in MMA. It is. Legal. It is. Nobody does it. Yeah. I wonder why nobody does that. I can explain it's very simple. So a situation where I can imagine this being helpful. Again, if you're a security or a police officer and someone is like drunk and like they're not, you know, sometimes they're not fully committed to attacking you, but they're like fucking around, shoving you a little bit, and then you you feel like okay, this is becoming dangerous. And then you can do a move like this and it, it, it could work. I can absolutely see that working. But in a fighting situation, when a fighter is moving fast and they're fit, if you grab their arm with both of your hands, they're gonna kick you, they're gonna come and hug you, they're gonna throw you. This is, there's a reason why you don't see this in MMA. Because this move is so risky and, and, and you're gonna pay for this badly. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. No one does it. No one does it. No one does it. No one does it. Get the f*** out of here. Catching someone's hand. Catching someone's hand in a pro MMA fight. Again, this is something that only people who, who've never sparred can say that this is something that can, that commonly, that is easy to do. Wake up! I get asked about Bruce Lee all the time and I think Bruce Lee was very unique. Like any other human being, he was human. One of my students was a guy called James Cole. I don't know how many of you here who are watching are actually like in martial arts or in gyms or train or do, but we should have a bingo list. Martial arts bingo bullshit.
Blessed. Uh, I was actually taught by the last surviving uh, monk of the uh, mountains of doom. Oh, I met, I met Jesus. Uh, he taught me the five finger fillet. By the way, you know, remember I, I made that video about my Michael Jai White, the guy who said uh, the Shaolin Temple burned down 400 years ago. Uh, Google, it, Google that real quick. Obviously, the guy was full of shit when it came to Shaolin. Um, but Steven Seagal was asked once about Michael J. White. Michael J. White? <laughs> Can I, Can laugh, I laugh in, in your face? face? Or Michael J. White would take Steven Seagal and turn him into a fing brisket. What do I mean hating on Michael J. White? I don't hate Michael J. White. I think, bro, Michael J. White is great. He was just uninformed on Shaolin, but that's okay. Turns out, Sensei Seagal likes his food just like his martial arts. He likes his food just like he just like he likes his martial arts. I feel like there should be a good roast in there somewhere. Mm, there, there's something in there. Uh, stupid? <laughs> yeah, stupid. Uh, got him. <laughs> Uncooked? No, full of shit. <laughs> Oh man, Japanese. Ah, uh, Japanese. But yeah, Japanese. But that's just, just that's just smart and correct. But this guy does uh, fun stuff. I like this guy, Jesse and Camp. And I honestly think, oh god, oh do we dare? I spent twenty four hours with Steven Seagal. I I'm almost interested to see why did he get access to his life? What the fuck is this? But honestly, honestly, big shout out. I've seen some of this guy's videos. He seems like a super nice guy. Jesse and Camp, check him out. I think he's a karate guy. Good morning. He's just standing He's there. He's standing there, menacing. menacingly. This is just beautiful. <laughs> I love this world. Uh, when they talk about the white light that you see when you die, this is actually what they mean. Sports legend, Steven Seagal. Known for breaking the bones. Oh, he was less pointy. Hairline less pointy. Look at that. It used to be more round. And just as much time as those guys spend trying to dive for your legs and get you, yeah. we spend just as much time cutting your head off or knocking you out or ripping your eyes out or ripping right. your throat out. Spar once. 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 Do it once. If you don't like the rules of sparring, do bare knuckle no rules. Kimbo slice style. You're severing your brainstem. When you oh, sever your brainstem. <laughs> what, what, these people live in a different... This is epic. Good morning, brother. God, I love streaming. This is amazing. Is this what a Hollywood superstar eats on a daily basis? This is what Japanese would eat every day. This is what a samurai would eat. As the first Westerner to run a dough. That kind of seemed deranged almost for a little bit, like obsessed. No, this is not what movie stars eat. This is what samurai eat. You see, I'm a samurai. I can I sever your brainstem with a hit. I rip your throat out, cut your head off. I'm a samurai, motherfucker. Samurai says, when I wake up in the morning, I am prepared to die. When I go into battle, I visualize myself as already being dead. Yeah. I don't know. This guy is going from cringe to deranged. And also the way this these videos are set up. Do you guys? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys think do you guys think this is a paid promotion it seems like a promotion like almost more than just good faith it seems like a thing that's or well organized promotion it could be but honestly there's nothing wrong with that right stars they do promos but it doesn't seem like just these two youtubers asked him it seems like more of a i don't know quid pro quo top floor had been reserved just for us it was time to finally feel the power of steven seagal yeah. this kind of a strike is this is my fighting pose. Yeah. And from <laughs> Guys, my fighting pose. This is my fighting pose. Honestly, he's tall bye bye. Does anyone remember tall bye bye? Or is this a boomer thing? The Dragon Ball, tall bye bye? Do this. Wow. I've already killed you, but I have this now. He's already dead, guys. He's already dead. You're looking at a dead man, but everyone. Do you want to see the truth? See you.